Hi everyone, Tim here with New Hope Games and welcome back to House of Concepts. This next concept is called Old School War Game. And what this is, is an old counter style war game that's inspired by those board games way back in the past, like that were made by Avalon Hill and things like that. And um, in fact, you can still find a lot of games in digital format that are very similar to this on Matrix Games website. If any of you ever been and know what Matrix Games is and familiar with that, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So now let's go ahead and take a look and see what this old school war game is all about. Okay, first of all, here is the menu. I'm just going to go through it really quick. I'm not going to play a whole playthrough of the game, but um, it gets quite quite addicting, you know. But um. Let's take a look and see what we got here. All right, instructions. It'll show you what the units that are currently in the game. Um, obviously, if this game's going to resume development, a lot of these, um, uh, they'll be added a lot more units to this game. You can add a whole lot more. Okay, infantry, it tells you a brief description, cheapest unit in the game, weak firepower, moving in armor, able to capture locations. That's what the C means. See, all the units have uh, three numbers at the top. Top left is firepower, and the center is either armor or hit points and top right is movement or action points okay so um that's all of the units here and um, I'm not gonna go through each one but this is how it is okay and um some of them like this how it's got a lot of firepower but not much armor okay and if it's got two as I also doesn't mean it can just move twice it can also attack twice so if this unit didn't move um, at all, and they have two units, enemy units on top of it, it can attack both of them in one turn, you know, so um, that's uh, how that is. Okay, let's go back here and set up. All I have here is, um, uh, there's uh, a, a very few options. The map visible or hidden. If it's if it's hidden, then it's it's unexplored. It's covered by black other than where your current unit is at. Anything around your current unit is visible. We just, we just gonna leave it visible for now, but if you played Civilization, you'll be familiar with that, how, that, how all of that works, okay? Water level, you know, moderate. Um, if you go lots, you'll have more islands, the more water, obviously, okay? So it's just um, less, moderate, and lots. We're gonna go with moderate. Okay, let's start. Here, here's the map, okay, bottom right. Weather, war funds, uh, elapsed turns, and end turn, okay? And the object of the game is to destroy the enemy headquarters. A lot of these games uh, suffer from having a um, pretty poor AI, okay? This is a single player game, but that's one thing I wanted to address here. I wanted this game to have a very um, competitive and challenging AI. You know, I wanted it to be hard. I mean, I want you to just be able to, the player just be able to win every time. It's not going to work like that. And this game also uh, has random maps. Every time you play it, it's a random random map, randomly generated, and there's a whole bunch of different um, ways to play it each time, okay? So um, so right here, um, you see these, notice we get these landing craft. Basically, any infantry that moves into the water automatically embark on the landing craft, and when they move on the land, they'll disembark. Whenever they embark, they are more vulnerable to, like, enemy airstrikes or even enemy attacks, okay? Now, terrain, when you look at light woods, heavy woods, um, you know, less coverage, better coverage, and um, more coverage, and a lot of coverage here. The jungles, some more coverage too. And um, so, if you got infantry, and you kind of just walk around out in the open, and you get any kind of unit out in the open, and if the enemy launches an airstrike, they're more likely to destroy you. You know, or or just or inflict some damage. Clear, sunny weather is the best for aircraft. Okay, that visibility is good, and those planes can most likely gonna be affected. Okay, so um, here's my headquarters. Enemy is red and I am yellow. So the first thing to do in the beginning of the game is to attack, I mean, to try to capture these locations. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. First, I'm going to move right here. And these, are worth, these military camps are worth the least amount of uh, points. Like, and the more points you have, it goes into income, more funds at the end of a turn. These are at least about a little bit more here, and the cities are worth the, more, the most. They're the most um, valuable location to capture. Okay, so let's move here and um, down here. Okay, right here. Um, notice it's uh, it's basically right now the Falcon 
is me being United States and enemy being Japanese. But the way it's going to work, when the game, um, if the game does go through full development, get completed until release, there'll be several countries. You'll be able to choose almost whatever flag you want to choose, okay? At least uh, six different, seven, eight different ones anyway. So um, this tells me, I don't know if there's a unit here, but probably so because they own it now, okay? So let's go on here, and I can't see just yet, but they, they, I'm sure there is, or um, there wouldn't be a flag there, so they're taking it over, okay? So now I have 500 war funds. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to purchase something here. Now, you know, the things with the sea can capture locations, as I mentioned before. And um, S means it's a scout. AA means anti-air. Anti-air, okay? These are harder to destroy by planes. Planes will be less successful and more likely to get shot down by attack of these. So if you're worried about planes and you're going along with these, you'll be better off to not get destroyed, okay? So, um... The only difference between these two trucks right here, which you can probably find yourself buying these things early on in the game because um, they move quick and um, they can capture these locations really quick, is which that's what you need to do when the game starts, okay? And um, luckily, I have a city right here. I have I have a lot right around my headquarters right in the beginning. Look at all of this. Three, um, two towns, uh, a camp, another town here, and a city here, and a camp here. So I can get by with a couple of infantry taking all these three right away you know so um but um the difference between this one 80 uh, 80 uh war funds it has one attack so th this one can attack where this one you know same thing but there's no attack power but it only it's only plus than seven so you know it's 10 less okay so i'm gonna just go with um right now let's go with an infantry attack i mean take over that take over that and i'm gonna go with one of these and take this over, okay? So um, that leaves me with 330 left, okay? So um, I'm gonna purchase a couple more of these because there's no enemies around. I don't have to attack right now. So I'm gonna purchase these. I mean, you're saving some war funds and you're gonna need to save these war funds, okay? Weather's clear. Um, here's my air base, okay? There's eight aircraft stationed here and um, I can attack twice a turn with it. So I'm go here, let's launch an attack. And it's successful, okay, which is what I expected since the weather's clear, but it's not always the case, but good, okay, eliminated, all right, so now, um, um, I got 200 left, I, I can, I can either buy another unit or just kind of save it and wait to see what's around, which is what I'm going to do, I might, you know what I could do, Let, let's just buy this, this Jeep, because I'm going to go and try to discover the, um, see where the enemy headquarters is at, and you can't just, you think you can just kind of rush the headquarters and destroy it real quick? It doesn't work like that. You're really going to have to have some start fielding some uh, tanks and bigger and howitzers and heavy units to destroy that uh, headquarters. Okay, AI turn. Now the game is not perfect. There is some bugs in here. It's like I said, it is a concept. You know, that's um what I'm doing here is I'm showing concepts, but um this is very playable and you know there's a lot that's been done here and it works works pretty good. I've I've found myself coming back to this game. Off and on through the years, like I said, it's been a couple of years since the development of this started, and then you know, all of the times I spent uh, updating all my mobile games and things like that. And you know, I'm sure most of a lot of you probably know that um, I have quite a few mobile games on Google Play, and they take a lot of maintenance and time to update and things like that. And um, also, I have a game on Steam, Avalon Journey Begins, and that game right there um, has a, quite a few DLCs and it needs updates from time to time. So, you know, when you have all of those updates, you know, sometimes, you know, you have to put your development on other projects on hold to, to keep things going. Okay, so now, um, what we have here, um, it's my turn again. Now, notice it's nighttime and it's storming, so forget planes. Whenever it's storming or nighttime, planes cannot attack. Okay, so let's take this. This is a Jeep. It's got three movement, but it can't attack. It's just good to quickly scout out the area to see what's around there. This is really good if it's the map is um, unexplored, but it's still good even now, okay? Because unexplored, it just simply means that um, you don't know the map terrain, but um, when it's explored, you still don't know the units unless you're in contact with them. Okay, let's attack. Destroyed. Um, okay, um, oh, this is enemy. I'm trying to move them. Okay, no, no, we don't want to do that. So um, let's just hold that ground here. I might want to go, I'll tell you what I might want to do. I'm trying to remember if there was a, did I move on something? I don't think so. No, okay. I'm gonna try to move into this um, town here. 
I've got a protection there, and I'm going to go up. Okay. Okay, so um, let me do this. And so, yeah, if this is something you like, and um, you know, um, you think it's something you might want to play, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. And um, if you want to see me play more of this game? Let me know because I can play more. You know, I find it, it, I like playing it. It's quite fun to play. And um, if anything, I'd like to finish it just because of the fact that I want to play it. You know, I want to play the. the full finished version of this because you know, play, you can spend some time playing this it's, it's it's to me it's fun you know I like these kind of games and um you know um it um it they differ you know they different they, they don't look they never did look really good but like I said it's designed to look like a board game and it's an old school old school game you know that's what it is okay so you're not gonna expect to see any kind of like fancy graphics with things like this but it's just what it is you know <coughs> okay so now what I'm going to do is, I still don't see any enemy units. If I had enemy units around here, I'd be buying something that can attack a little more firepower, some one of these things or something. But I don't, so um, let's just keep going as we got it here. And I think I'm going to save the 165 and end turn. Okay, so now you see enemy units are popping up. Armored vehicle over here and... Um, infantry, things like that, and it's storming, so planes cannot attack. Now, keep in mind, you don't want to always rely on aircraft because when you do and say, okay, I'm going to just wait and bomb this one next turn or something with the planes. I want to attack it now. Well, guess what? What about next turn if the weather's bad and storming? You can't use your aircraft. So that's something like little things like that is what, what you know, I like about this here, you know? And um, the AI is very challenging. And um, so basically, um, you can see how it works. So this is the game, okay? This is how everything works here. And, um, and, um, I would like to continue development of it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and leave the video off right here. And um, I could finish it, but it could take a little time because this map, for some reason, has quite a bit of cities and locations. They, they're not always like that. You know, they, they're so different. And um, I'm eventually going to change this also to where you can set the amount of cities and locations and things like that. And they're going to be more locations. I do have some versions of this game that has carriers and battleships and destroyers, cruisers, all kinds of naval units and everything. Right now, um, in here, they only have the landing crafts and landing ships. These are landing ships. When you see this, it's not infantry. It's, it's like vehicles or something on board, you know? So, um, and you are more vulnerable when in this state. So, you always try to stay on the, the land areas as much as possible. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave it at, at this. And I'm gonna try to keep these. I'm trying to keep these concept videos uh, pretty quick because I got I got more to do, you know. So um, you know that's why I'm gonna try to keep them. I, I was trying to keep them. This one's gonna be was obviously I think long the longest one, but uh, you know, probably you know I could be easily you know as you can see it. But um, a playthrough of this game doesn't really take all that long, you know, and you can get through it usually pretty quick. And like I said, with some options there, adjusting the amount of cities and locations, you can play really quick or. or really really long long games depending on how you want all right i hope you all enjoyed the video let me know what you think of the game like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next um episode with this uh house of um concepts okay all right thanks for watching and bye for now